the whole system. I think the planter is just going to eat the whole thing, to be totally honest with you. And I'm not, in uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but we will find out. Okay, so... This one, we want to tell it to allow plum saplings through. We want to tell it to let apple saplings through. And this thing, we will tell it to grow plums in that corner. And apples there, I think. And then what we need to do is stick those in. I don't think there's any space to grow, so let's go and make some space for it to grow. Blueberries are sort of blue, but they're not a tree, and it's trees that I wanted to grow. And food. We need to look at food next, but uh, let's get this sorted out quickly. Right. So let's make some spaces up in this corner here. Let's mature without harvest. Is that too far back for the harvester? Okay, that's interesting. I was expecting that to harvest. Might need to make a better upgrade in the harvest here. Let's see where it actually will start to work. Oh, it did harvest it, it just needed to think for a little bit. Alright, so it's harvesting these ones. Let's make a bit of space across the back here. Not planting anything there yet. Whoops, harvested that one myself, which is a bit wrong. Alright, okay, well, let's do it coming in here. Let's see if I got my calculations right. Let's go and get some more bone meal. A stack of that, which is going to make us three stacks of bone meal. I'm sure we're going to use it this evening. Get those out of my bar, and then we just fill our bar up with bone meal. It checks the plants one by one, which wouldn't actually surprise me, this sort of thing, to be totally honest. There we go, there's some of our plants coming out. There's our plum saplings. And that should mean that we'll get some apple saplings. There we go, there's our apple saplings in there. This is working more or less as I was expecting it to do so. So I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. And the luggage is really happy as well. I'm not entirely certain why, but it, it just looks like it's enjoying itself. So let's let one of these grow up and see what happens when it does. It's not going to work because it's next to the fence, of course, isn't it? Um, right, let's take this fence down. Try not to fling ourselves to our deaths. Yeah, you don't want to grow, do you? What about you? No. All right, I'll come back and look at those later on. I obviously need something a bit more. And I'm run out of food, so I want to look at that particular problem now anyway. Right, okay. Um, potatoes. In general, that's worked. I just need to work out why it didn't really want to work with us at that point. Um, it's possible. It's possible that's the reason. Right. Okay, so a baked potato is that way. We can make a loaded baked potato, a scallion baked potato, a buttered potato. And I think this requires buttered potatoes. Buttered potatoes require baked potato and butter. I've got loads of butter. Um, and these require silk and tofu, heavy cream, and salt in a saucepan. So let's see what we can do with that. There's some salt. Have any more salt? Uh, what about up here? That's some silk and tofu, that's good. More bone meal, that's not bad, I'll have that. 
Let's cheese. And I'm not seeing silken tofu, uh, uh, firm tofu there, which is no good to us. So it looks like we're going to have to make some more of this stuff anyway. So let's let's get that going. Uh, but in the, for, in the meantime, we can put that in there, that silken tofu in there, and we did a saucepan. Have you guys heard of Agrarian Skies too? Yeah, I was just thinking about that the other day, as a matter of fact. There's a saucepan. Um, though I think, to be totally honest with you, when I go from this one, I'm going to go for one that's much, much tougher. I'm thinking about going perhaps for... Uh, what am I thinking of going for? I'm thinking about going for Crash Landing or something like that from the Feed the Beast launcher because that looks quite intriguing. Yeah, it's a bit like this game, but the monsters are actively trying to kill you. So we'll move those out. Make ourselves some loaded, uh, some buttered potatoes there. Have a chance, and we'll grab some of this stuff. Okay, that's enough. We'll just put one back in there. That way we, we've reserved it. Hello, Shizzy! The luggage gains weight? No, I don't think it ever does. It's quite annoying that way. Oh, we are starving. Let's have one of these buttered potatoes. Keep us going. There you go. That's got us off of uh, of the edge. So we'll put those into here. Need to automate this, I think. And yeah, that soy milk can stay there. So we let that chug away and make us some silk and tofu. So we need to while we're doing that, let's make some salt. Well, where's my bucket? Where's my bucket? Oh, uh, let's use this water barrel. And okay, we'll use this one here. I think for this. Get these bones out of it. Want to make some water? Let's do that a few times. Like that. Water, water. Don't know why that spat that out. That's a bit annoying. This stuff I want to auto re automate, but I need to get the computer system going first. So we'll put that in with the. We need a pot for that, don't we? Uh, where's my pot? Out somewhere calling the kettle black, most likely. Uh, there's my pot. So we'll get that done. There you go, there's a load of salt. Mm. Here, luggage fetch. So we've got five of those, we've got 16 of those, so let's get, if we have some leaven silk and tofu, that would be great, there we go. Uh, we'll bung that in. Gives us a load of butter. Do that there for a sec, now let's butter up some more of these potatoes. Can't see for looking, where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, so... Now, we've got enough of those, so let's get some loaded baked potatoes. And loaded baked potatoes have um, firm tofu and cheese, so we need to make some cheese. Oh, you're going to have to work really hard to beat me in pun jokes, I'm afraid. So this needs soy milk, salt in a pot. Okay, so we can do that. Let's just do all the, the same thing again quickly. Clear up a bit of inventory, I think. All right, that dust can go. That can go. That can go. That can go. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to spare there. I'll oh, get rid of that. 
those sticks, don't need those sticks. There we go. Okay, so first things first, water. This is a water barrel, which is basically an infinite water source, which is absolutely brilliant, makes life so much easier. Uh get that stuff out, put the pot there. That only makes one salt like that, which is not what we want. So we want to make four of these fresh water things. Uh, how many? We've got 22 buttered potatoes. So basically, um, we want to do this three times. I apologize this is a touch boring, but uh, needs to be done, I'm afraid. And one more. Uh, take that. Doink, doink. And... Fresh water, fresh water, and we can put that up there with the pot. That gives us 24 salt. We'll stick that 24 salt in there, and we want some. What do we want again? We wanted firm tofu this time, didn't we? Or do we want soy milk? I think we wanted soy milk. Let's grab that soy milk anyway. Uh, let's see if we're right. Uh, where's the soy milk? There we go. Yep, yeah, that gives us the cheese. That gives us 24 cheese. And then that's where we want the firm tofu. There we go. We've got 12 firm tofu. Make some more in a sec, but still, we can put that cheese in. We can put these buttered potatoes in, and we can put the tofu in. And that gives us a loaded baked potato, which is a nice meal. And I can get the rest of those cooked up fairly quickly. But at least now I've got some food. I'm no longer starving. Which makes me really happy. Alright, so we're going to get rid of that, get rid of that. And do I need to get rid of anything else? No, I don't think I want to get rid of anything else. Okay. So let's kind of have a quick look at our farm here. Um, how are we doing? Oh, this is all growing nicely. You have a quick check on that to see if there's anything that's uh, gets stuck in there. These still aren't growing, and I'm going to need to investigate why. I don't. Did anyone say anything? Of I'm looking at you, Fat Frog, for example. You got an idea why these aren't growing? Uh, if you do, please do shout out, and I'll sort it out. But the uh, soy is growing. Let's use up some of this. Let's use up some of this. Oh, I keep on harvesting it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just get this growing a little bit faster because we just used up a ton of this stuff anyway. There we go. Oh, done it again. Let's harvest in all this out nicely. And after a little while, this should. We've got some potatoes growing now as well. That should just start planting that again. That's great. Just grow some of this stuff up again. Where's my potatoes? Alright, I don't think it quite knows where to grow potatoes at the moment, which I wanted it to do up here. But he'll get round to it. Um, I think it's a, 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 a it's got a little bit to do with the all else at the end of your friendly bits of advice. To be totally honest with you, a bit late. Oh, but this is all. Yeah, it's planting the soybeans again. Excellent job. Excellent job here. Uh, just use up this which is a good point here okay to be totally honest with you we've got this working now we need to fertilize things and uh, to do that we need a fertilizer we need a fertilizer we does <laughs> um, one two one two one two one two two one two need, obviously you need to get a bit more seeds into uh, circulation but this harvester will do that eventually for me. 
anymore. No, that's all we use that. Uh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will make up for it given time, Fat Frog. Everyone seems to. Uh, okay, all right. It's starting to grow the potatoes in this corner now, which is exactly what I want. All right, we are looking good here. Yep. So, fertilizing. Got all these animals over here. Okay, and these animals, we can put uh, a sewer grate in the middle of each of these farms, and that will get, um, well, sewage. Uh, the, far the harvester will chop the tree down for wood, not save it for food, get rid of the saplings or else. Okay, I'm curious why they're not growing, but we'll take your advice. And I will plant something else in those corners. Uh, what should I put in? Cranberries and blueberries. Let's do that. Let's do some cranberries and blueberries. Okay. Did you do it well? Yeah, I think you've got the bit late seal of approval there. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. And the cranberries go there. And a blueberry will go there, so that will let those through. Actually, well, we, we want the seeds there, actually, so let's let them build up. We'll put some cranberries. Silly me. Cranberry seeds like that, blueberry seeds like that. And I'll just go and check to see if I've got any in the uh, chest. Now, Melody's shouting at me. What have I done to you? Good lord. Okay, so cranberry and blueberry seeds. Seaweed, cucumber, asparagus. I don't know, I've got one Gus. What am I going to spare one for? Uh, oats, no, that's no. Barley, interesting. Cranberry seeds, we'll have those. And uh, there's no obvious blue seeds there. Say hi to Hedgehog. Hello, Hedgehog. Okay. <laughs> no idea what that means, but hello, Hedgehog. There you go. Got rid of those saplings. Let's go and put some cranberries and blueberries down the bottom. Start those going. And then we'll get back to sewers. So yes, we want a free. We want an empty hand, so we can look at this duct here, and we'll tell it to whitelist those and whitelist those, and then we'll put those in here, and we'll tell them to plant across the top like that, and across the top like that, and surely that's going to pick that up in a little while. Uh, that looks like uh, bit late's only giving you a uh, an eight out of ten for your telling off there, Melody. You should you need to try harder, I'm afraid. Okay, so where were we? We were back up here, and we were looking at this, and hopefully, oh, there we go. Blueberries, blueberries are growing, and make ourselves um. Sure. Will those grow? Will those harvest? Oh, it was uh, cranberries there. Mature that one up. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Well, that's good. There we go. And they're harvesting out nicely, which is excellent. Uh, I'll just run to run down here quickly. This is all working quite nicely. Yeah, perish the thought of you actually being supportive of Simon. There's some cranberries, so we'll grab a cranberry. Oh, we don't need them. We'll grab a blueberry. There we go. So, and we want that stuff to go over here. So we'll whitelist it over here. Uh, where did I put them? 
blueberry, whitelist of blueberry, and cranberry, whitelist of cranberry. Go back into this chest and just test to make sure it works. In they go, out they go, excellent. Are we getting seeds? Cranberry seeds, yeah, that all seems to be working quite well. So we have some crops going. We have some crops growing indeed, and we were going to build sewers. So let's have a quick look at those. Sewer so, uh, needs plastic, of course it does. Trees take, oh, okay, those trees don't respond to bone meal. Okay, well that's frustrating, all right. Thanks for letting me know. So that lot will make me four sewers. And okay, let's do that. Uh, and I think we can pump that into a fertilizer, but I'm not entirely certain. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. So we've got bricks. Okay, we've got that already. Uh, we're going to need a machine frame for this, aren't we? Which is, yeah. Let's do that first. Alright, so we need some glass. Four glass left, how convenient. And we need some iron. And we need a piece of gold in the middle. Got a distressingly large amount of gold, to be honest with you. And then back to this. So we need a bucket. And that's really the complicated stuff, isn't it? So we've got plenty of these. And as we bricks. Like that. Now what we need is... Oh, we've got two plastic sheets left. Excellent. There we go. There's me sewers. I should imagine they're going to require power. But let's just go and try one anyway. So... Watch as a cow falls on my head. Make a hole there and we shall pop a sewer in there. No, my luck. Yeah, that's actually the right way up. So, these need expansion as well. Okay, these need upgrades too. But that should start... Um... Uh, I don't I don't really think I, I want people telling me how to talk in my own accent. Thank you very much. In fact, I don't pronounce the T in fertilizer because it's a D in my regional dialect. So, there we go. One there. These don't seem to require power. So I think what we can do is we can just let those run for a little bit and do we want to upgrade them? This is, this is a poor experiment. I don't think this is the right way to do this. So let's take this one out and I'll show you guys why. Put that there and I will put one underneath these and see if that will start working because I'm not entirely certain how to use these things and normally I do a bit of experimenting beforehand but anyway so we could expand them by two so we could make some upgrades for these if we wanted to but I don't have any raw plastic at the moment but... What are you telling me you have something against my Irish accent all of a sudden, do you? <laughs> okay, right, there's some there's a couple of sewers great to put in. I'll come back to look at those later on. If they started to fill up, that's great, we'll move on to the next bit. But at the moment, I'm rather happy the fact that we've got this all working. Because, you know, as I was saying, food was becoming a problem because I don't want to I don't want these things to be manual. 
I want everything to be automated, especially for the later quests when things start happening in you know sort of mega amounts. Uh, so it's important that we get these things sorted out straight away. Let's make a bit of space here. Mature. Mature these up so they get a bit of seeds going through the system. Alright, and soya is working well because soya is very important to me because I don't actually want to eat any of the animals. 